Um, where's the light? Just had a conversation with Ricky Rick. Um, because things right now are a bit like in the air, I guess. Because, as you guys know, I'm going back to Germany in May. And uh, the plan is to stay in Berlin for a while. Obviously visit my family and all of that stuff. Um, with Anastasia. We both don't know yet if we are gonna go and if we do want to go back to Bali. So we don't know how long we are gonna be in Berlin. We don't know if, if at all and when we're gonna be back in Bali. Um, and Ricky is actually also at the same time going back to Europe, first to Brussels for some to meet his family and then to Spain for his brother's wedding. And um, Project 33 isn't necessarily doing well financially. That's why I'm not paying Ricky because, well, I, I can't. Um, well, I can to some extent. And that, that was the conversation that we had, which is like, um, obviously I want him to be part of Project 33, but on the other hand, he obviously at least needs to be paid some money like he's not in it for the money but he's running through savings right now to help me build this out and um, that is obviously not sustainable because he still has rent and food to pay which um, you know and um, we talked about that so I'm gonna cover his rent for the remaining days at this villa um, and um, yeah, we're really in a race to close one more client um, to then have enough revenue for me to, you know, cover Ricky's cost plus, um, plus salary, at least some extent. Because, I mean, you know, if whether we're going to go back to Bali or whether he is going to join in Berlin, I we need to figure that out and he also you know he needs to go back to the US if it doesn't work out and uh, the price for the flight to the US is super expensive and um, I pretty much just spent all of my savings on the flight um, back to Germany so I'm slowly running out of cash um, Yeah, it's kind of like all up in the air. It's we're definitely struggling. Um, it's definitely not easy. We're definitely scratching the, you know, the the um, we're scratching the bottom lines of our bank accounts, both of us. Um, and by the way, sorry if, you know, if you guys thought that, um, we're doing amazing with Project 33 and I know I've, I've been not, you know, properly communicating that we are struggling and how kind of like dire the situation is right now. Um, partly out of, you know, insecurities and just not wanting you guys to know that it's not as glamorous and going as well as maybe some of you think it's going and also part of the wrong belief that I think you know maybe a potential client sees this and they see like oh they're actually you know not doing as well as they are showing there are like and then not wanting to work with us anymore which is obviously not helping us with with actually struggling so but it's all bullshit, it's just insecurities and wrong beliefs, so... Yeah. But I'm really happy because Ricky and I just had the conversation about money, which is a super uncomfortable conversation to always have. Um, to figure out, like, at least be honest and transparent and making a plan, you know? It doesn't change the fact that we don't know yet how to, you know, how I pay him a salary and we don't know yet how it's gonna go and 
if we're gonna close a new client and whether I can pay him and whether he can join us in Berlin and whether we're gonna be back in Bali or whatever it is like that's all still up in the air but at least like having a, a um, open conversation about it and I'm, I'm very grateful about him bringing it up Ricky bringing it up because he had the courage when I didn't so I appreciate him for that and um, yeah I guess this is also a video about you know when when you think things are going amazing or things are going good because it looks on social media it's probably not I mean we literally have one client right now like a real client we have two other people who are who we did some work for some paid work for um, we have clients that are that we lost that we were doing work for and that now you know dropped off we had more clients than one before um, and uh, yeah so it is a struggle and uh, I'm actually super glad that I made this video because I didn't plan to talking about this as openly but I kind of felt inspired by, by Ricky's courage to talk about it too. So here's my courage too. Project 33 is not necessarily doing it. It's not really doing that great. Um, and uh, we're figuring things out, you know. This is not a depressed video. This is just an, an honest video. Um, a very uncomfortable video to be honest um, you know the the ride is still fun I guess it's stressful but it's fun it's exciting it's very it teaches me a lot on especially about people oh my god the real thing that I'm learning here is not about business and how to build a business and whatever it's it's fucking people it's understanding people it's relating to people it's being more open with people and and reading people what do they want what do they need um and i'm still so fucking bad at it but i'm getting better and i'm willing to learn so yeah really no purpose about this video sorry about this rant um but that's what i wanted to share for today see you in the next video Peace out. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up. Sitting, breathing, doing all the things I hate to love. But why not? Holy shit, I just wanna make.